Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A string stretched between two fixed points sounds its second harmonic at the frequency f. So there is a string that is stretched between two fixed points. So the string is fixed at both of the ends and it sounds its a second harmonic somehow and the frequency is taken as f. Which expression where n is an integer gives the frequencies of the harmonics, frequencies of the harmonics that have a node at the center of the string. Okay, so we need a node at the center of the string in the terms of f. So first of all, let us create, um, let us try to create an expression for this f in the terms of general variables that are known to us. So the length of this would be taken as L and because it is fixed at both of the ends, I can say that Fn will be equal to Nv divided by 2L. Yeah, this is this is the general formula that is memorized by us now. And so this is the second harmonic. So F2 is 2V divided by 2L. Now this F2 is written as F in the question. So first of all, we are very clear now, like the question or any other teacher of the test, they can give you any other variable, like we are calling it F3, F4, F or something. But we must understand that, okay, they're talking about F2, second harmonic. Now, which expression where N is an integer? So this is the general formulation. And we can say that, okay, F is equal to 2V by 2L, fine. So there should be a node at the center. So how is this possible? So if this is second harmonic, if it is third harmonic, it is not possible. If it is fourth harmonic, yes, it is possible. So in the fourth harmonic, it will be 4V by 2L. So you can say 2F. And in the fifth harmonic, again, there will be anti-node here. In the sixth harmonic, you just try to think. In the sixth harmonic, there will be three lobes here and three lobes here. And so there will be a node again here. So it means that we're talking about the even number of things now. Um, yeah, the sixth harmonic, so it will become 3F. So they are literally talking about the integers and all of the integers are available. Like this is F, this is 2F, this is 3F. So definitely the next one will be 4F. So all the natural integers are there. And thereby, we can now create a general formula that will be nf. So the answer should be b, where n is an integer, and there is no condition on it whether it is odd or whether it is even. So I believe the answer should be b. Let us verify it from the mark scheme. And yes, the answer given is b. So my dear students, this is the explanation for this, and this is how we do it. Like, this is the simplest method that I can suggest for this question. Myself, Professor Varun, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.